Hi, I am Deepak. I am studying Cyber Security in Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering. Today, I am excited to talk about an essential aspect of waste management, that is, the purpose of processing mechanical volume and size reduction of waste. Introduction Welcome to the presentation on the purpose of processing and mechanical volume and size reduction of waste. In today's world, waste management is a critical challenge with the ever increasing volume of waste generated. As we know, as our planet faces increasing challenges from waste generation and it becomes crucial to explore sustainable methods of waste disposal and reduction. So, in this presentation, we will focus on understanding the significance of waste processing and mechanical volume and size reduction techniques in effective waste management. Why waste processing is important? Waste processing involves transforming waste materials into a more manageable and less harmful form. The main purpose of waste processing are resource recovery, waste volume reduction, and hazard mitigation. At first, resource recovery. To extract valuable resources from waste such as metals, plastics, and organic matter for recycling and reuse. Waste volume reduction. To reduce the overall volume of waste, which helps save space in landfills and lowers transportation costs. Hazard mitigation. To reduce or eliminate hazardous elements from waste, making it safer for disposal and minimizing environmental risks. Methods of waste processing. There are various methods of waste processing, including incineration, composting, anaerobic aeration, pyrolysis, mechanical biological treatment, shredding and grinding. At first, incineration. The controlled burning of waste at high temperature, converting it into ash, gases and heat energy is known as incineration. For example, cement cleans, halogen acid furnaces, metal recovery and smelting furnaces. These are all the examples for incineration. And the combustion of organic matter in presence of oxygen is taken place in incineration process. Composting. The natural decomposition of organic waste by microorganisms to create nutrient-rich compost for agriculture. Generally, most food and yard wastes like banana peels and coffee grounds can be composted. Next, anaerobic digestion. Breakdown of organic waste by microorganisms in the absence of oxygen producing biogas and fertilizer. This is known as anaerobic digestion. There are two valuable outputs we get from anaerobic digestion. They are biogas and digestive. Next, pyrolysis. Pyrolysis is the thermal decomposition of waste in absence of oxygen, producing bio oil, syngas, and char. And the main difference between pyrolysis and incineration is in incineration, the combustion of organic matter is taken in presence of oxygen, but in pyrolysis, the combustion of organic matter is taken in absence of oxygen. Next, mechanical biological treatment. It is nothing but combining mechanical and biological processes to sort, separate, and treat waste materials. Next, shredding and grinding. Shredding and grinding are the mechanical methods to reduce waste size and improve its handling. This method is mainly reduces the volume of paper waste. Mechanical volume and size reduction. Mechanical volume and size reduction techniques play a crucial role in waste management. These techniques include shredding, compacting, grinding, pelletizing. At first, shredding. Large objects like tires, furniture, and appliances are shredded into smaller pieces 
increasing their density and facilitating further processing. In this process, shredders break down large items into smaller pieces, then increase their surface area, like the increasing their density and improving handling efficiency. Next, compacting, reducing the volume of waste by compressing it, often used for paper, cardboard, and plastics. This process includes compactors compress the waste, reducing the volume and making it easier to transport and store, like paper, cardboard, plastics. Next, grinding. Grinding means breakdown of solid waste into smaller particles, which is useful for food waste and yard trimmings. Grinding is a machinery process that is used to remove material from a workpiece via grinding wheel. As the grinding wheel turns, it cuts material off the workpiece while creating a smooth surface texture in the process. Next, Pelletizing Pelletizing means creating pellets from waste materials enhancing their energy content and reducing transportation cost. It is the process of compressing or molding a material into the shape of a pellet. These are some size reduction equipments such as shredders, compactors, crushers, etc. Advantages of mechanical volume and size reduction Increase density The mechanical volume and size reduction reduces waste volume which allows for more efficient storage and transportation, minimizing logistics cost. Enhanced resource recovery Smaller waste particles make it easier to extract valuable metals during recycling process which helps in the recovery of resources, reduces landfill dependency. By reducing the volume of waste, we can prolong the lifespan of existing landfills and decrease the need for new ones, which helps in reducing landfill de dependency. Easier biological treatment. Smaller waste particles decompose faster in biological treatment processes like composting and anaerobic digestion. Better combustion. Size reduced waste burns more efficiently in waste to energy facilitates generating more energy which is useful for better combustion. Challenges and considerations. While mechanical volume and size reduction offer numerous benefits, certain challenges should be addressed. Pollution control. Mechanical process can release pollutants requiring proper control measures. Mechanical reduction process can generate noise and dust which affect the surrounding environment. So, implementing noise reduction measures and proper dust control is vital. Equipment maintenance. Regular maintenance of machinery is essential to ensure efficiency and prevent breakdown. Choosing the right machinery for volume and size reduction is very crucial. Contamination. Mixing different waste types during reduction can lead to contamination and reduce recycling potential. Cost. Investment in modern equipment and processing facilities can be substantial. As we know, improper waste disposal poses significant environmental threats including soil and water contamination, air pollution, and ecosystem disruption. So, adopting responsible waste management practices is very crucial for safeguarding our planet's health and sustainability. Conclusion Waste processing and mechanical volume and size reduction are integral components of effective waste management. These techniques contribute to 
resource recovery, waste volume reduction, and environmental protection. As a responsible individuals and communities, we must continue to adopt the sustainable waste management practices for a cleaner and greener future. So, let us all join our hands and make a positive impact on the planet by embracing these waste management strategies. Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.